born, I've been ready for this. Ay, since like nine five, I've been eager for this. Ay, talent on the rise, I'm consistent with this. Ay, trophy is the prize, ain't no gimmicks with this. Okay, now what's left on them? Told you I'ma flex on them. I did it all subtle, ooh, and then I hit that exit on them. Gotta blame my faith, cause these eyes ain't got nothing on them. I secure the safe for the cradle, I ain't dropping nothing. Ooh. Only winning is exception, ain't no truce. Uh. Ain't no dub, ain't no L on my coupe. Ooh. Only winning is exception on my coupe. Yeah. Ain't no dub, ain't no L. We welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New Orleans Saints and the New York Giants. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. The 25-yard line. To throw is Breeze. And Josh Hill has it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 16 yards. First down, New Orleans. On first down, Murray. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 more on that one and another first down. Now look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake. And they've taken care of that early. Ten more there and another first down. First down, Saints. On play action, now Breeze. Flushed out right. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there, looked like nobody open, now second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. They fake the give, here's Breeze. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Akella Witherspoon. And a terrific return as he'll take it up past the 35. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football. But at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. This will be... Stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and two the 45-yard line. Being chased out left. He's going to take off with it. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. But Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right, because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense. And now, as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. The tackle by Janoris Jenkins. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. 
ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Back to throw. McKnight, he rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. 20! Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Second and goal at the three-yard line. Now they'll run. Murray. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. This is third and goal. Now this Giants defense, they have withstood the test thus far. Well, look at this, a tight end carry. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Adam Troutman, his second touchdown on the season. And the Saints have taken the early lead. And it's good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. Saints 7, Giants nothing. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys, get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the... And this will be caught at the 30. Touchdown, Giants. Marquise Goodwin, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. I love watching Goodwin play. Of course, everybody knows the story of him being an Olympian. He's a long jumper, yes. right? Yes. But, but you know that he has that athleticism, that big playability. He certainly does. And not only was he an Olympian as a long jumper, married to a sprinter. How about that for speed in one family? And I love his end zone celebrations now. When he does go deep and beat someone for a touchdown, now he does the long jump as his celebration. Pretty cool deal. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Complete. A huge play there on the screen pass. 53 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. They run with Murray. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10. 7-7. Our score after one. That's the end of the first quarter with the score tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Good kill. Good kill. Good kill. Good kill. 
Throwing on second down. Breeze. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas. And now it's third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And he will take this all the way up past the 40-yard line. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range, but boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board, but give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end, and it's second down. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. They give the chub out of the gun. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a first down on a gain of 10. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. On first down, McKnight. He'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Seven yards to pick up there. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. There's not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. It's fourth down. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. From the gun, McKnight. And they're going to bring him down, back across midfield at the 45. Cameron Jordan, and that will force a turnover on downs. They'll run on first down. It's Murray. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. Latavius Murray. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. On play action, it's Breeze. Flush to his right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers, just two for seven throwing the football, but he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers sometimes. Sometimes the defense... This is caught inside the 15. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. What heck of a third down conversion. 33 yards on first down. Murray. And he'll be 
brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. To number 45. A five-yard touchdown. And the Saints have taken the lead. I thought that was a nice job there, feeling the pressure and rolling out away from it and keeping the play alive. And I think he did it with the idea that his tight end would find his way free in the end zone, and his confidence was rewarded. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Taken about seven yards deep, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. To throw again. McKnight eluding the pressure right. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. Got a man, Slayton. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. On first and ten, McKnight. That's complete to a speedy wideout, Goodwin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. First and 10 at the 49 yard line. Hey, check Mike 27. Check Mike 27. Got one. I got one. 60 Bison. 60 Bison. Check 31. 60 Bison. 60 Bison. Throwing on first down. McKnight. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. A lot of work to get away and outside of the pocket, but no actual yardage there on the catch. It's second down. They rolled out of the pocket right, and I think he wanted a little something more out of that play. Obviously, instead, he just he hit a safety valve. It looked like two well-coached teams there, even though there was no yardage gain because the offensive guys, hey, they realized their quarterback was out of the pocket. All the receivers went to the right spots, tried to get in a sight line, tried to open themselves up nowhere to go where they could gain yardage. How about the defensive guys, though? Did not lose leverage, and he kept their poise and made a really nice play. Brings up well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 
for Nick Chubb. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. A gain of two on the play. Brings up third and four. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This will be from 49 yards out. And this one is right down Broadway. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. Taken about seven yards deep, and no firework. to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. That catch good for only a couple. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On third and two, McKnight, that's complete to Slayton. And he will have a Giants first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Back to throw again. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. Three yards the game there, second down. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position. It's to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it. He's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at 
the 49. Cameron Jordan, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. And the Giants send out their punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. This is fielded at the seven. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Saints will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Hey, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Second down and four. Breeze. And the catch made. This is Emmanuel Sanders. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. 22 yards there. A first down. Saints. Shotgun now for Breeze. Dancing to his left. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Breeze will try again on second down. He's going to drop this one down for Murray. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 16 yards, a first down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen, because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and Seven at the 46 yard line. <laughs> now Breeze. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47 yard line. Carlos Dunlap just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Third and long now after the sack of Breeze and the Saints up against it here. Complete nearly the pick they needed. They want a loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense an unexpected fourth down here. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18 yard line, it looks like. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They run it again with Chubb, and he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Giants with possession of the football, but needing points as we start quarter number four. Get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The ball carrier. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there, first down. At the 48-yard line. And 
They run the option here on first and ten. And they'll get this out quickly to Goodwin. And he'll be down deep into New Orleans territory. It's a gain of 35. That's how you draw up the run pass option right there. You get a chunk play out of it. And you know quarterbacks love to throw the RPOs because oftentimes they're in-breaking routes. The receivers love it even more. The ball gets to them quickly. allows them to put some moves on in the secondary. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Nick Chubb with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Giants are going to jump back in front. He's got it. And this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Makes the score Giants 17, Saints 14. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. At their own 29-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And now they'll look to answer, working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A good pick up there of 22. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And now it's second down. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. And Breeze is intercepted for the third time. Picked off by a Kettle Witherspoon. Wow, between last week and this week, that's now eight interceptions. Five a week ago, now three here. Well, he is so lucky that one of the defense coordinators I played for, a man named Ken Donahue, is not there right now. Because he saw that happen during his coaching career, and he grabbed a quarterback in the midst of a streak like this and said, tell you what, son, why don't you throw it to the defensive guys, and let's see if our receivers can intercept it. <laughs> well, he's got to figure something out, because the current formula is not working. Number 20 Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Tackle made by Demario Davis there on the stop. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Operating from the gun. McKnight, that's out to Chubb, complete. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Seven yards there and a first down. gain here as he's up to about the 47 yard line give him three on the keeper there and it is second down the fourth quarter here they've got the lead they want to keep it on the ground that's what they're doing smart football keep the clock grinding keep it going but you got to figure now they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he's going to take this all the way down to the Saints 23-yard line. A game there of 30 big ones. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. 